to another episode of Chelsea in the City, my weekly vlog series. Now, before we begin, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. I'm trying desperately to reach 1000 subscribers and I need your help. So thank you in advance for that. Now, today is a Saturday, so happy Saturday. It's the weekend and it's looking nice and sunny outside. It's around 11 a.m. and I'm in desperate need of a coffee. So that's on the agenda for this morning. I'm going to grab a coffee and some takeaway brunch and then just soak up the sun, go for a bit of a walk into the city and show you guys how much the vibe has changed here in Melbourne. I feel like people are just so much happier and optimistic and hopeful now that you know restrictions are slowly being eased and lifted so a few things have changed now starting tomorrow night at 11 59 p.m i mean you know you can't go for dinner then but restaurants are opening back up again and cafes you know you can get your nails done again you can get waxing and beauty services Things are changing and change is good. I feel like we've all been staying at home for so long. We've gotten used to it, but I think we're all excited that things are slowly getting back to normal, even if it is a new kind of normal. Let me know how things are going where you live in the world because I know that everywhere is different. And here in Australia, I feel so lucky that the situation isn't as crazy as it has been overseas. Like, you know, the videos we see of Italy and the US and how bad the death toll has been there it's just it's just unbelievable so you know I do count my blessings I'm so grateful I live in Victoria Australia but things are getting back to normal and I'm so excited because I can't wait to get my coffees again and actually sit at cafes and also I've booked in all of my beauty appointments I've booked in my nails my lashes waxing so it's, yeah, life is good, guys. Life is good. I'm just very grateful for the little things now. I think this whole situation has just changed all of our perspectives. So without further ado, let's get this video started and let's start with a much needed coffee. So we just got some coffee from Nine Yards in South Melbourne. I also got some takeaway brunch. I've got my smashed avo. Mum got the same, but she got some scrambled eggs with hers. So bon appetit and cheers to good coffee. Here she comes like the rays of the sun she shines. I'm here in the Emporium in the Melbourne CBD and the feeling here today is so much more relaxed than usual and there are actually people around. I'm sure if you've been watching this series, you would remember when I came here and it was pitch black, there was nobody in sight. Well, things have changed. There are a lot more people. There are people even lining up to go inside Muji, which is one of the stores on, I believe it's this level or the level below. And next to me, there's a nail salon. You can see the staff getting ready to reopen for next week, sanitizing everything. So it's a good feeling. It's good to see that people are back out and about, obviously still, you know, practicing social distancing, but there is a bit of relief in the air, I guess, because we can see the light at the end of the tunnel and we can slowly rebuild our lives again and support businesses rebuild the economy. I mean, that's a good excuse for shopping now. It's like, well, I'm just helping rebuild the Australian economy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm an avid shopper. If you know me, I usually go shopping like every weekend, not necessarily to buy things, but just to look around and get inspired for my outfit. So it's good to be back and it's good to see that other people are out and about too. The atmosphere is just so much more buzzing and exciting. It's good to see other people and just yeah, be out and about. So here's to a lovely Saturday in the city. I'll keep you posted, but I thought I'd give you a bit of an update in case you yourself haven't been able to get back into Melbourne and see what's happening here. So let me know how it's going wherever you are in the world. Leave a comment down below because I would love to hear from you. But anyway, let's see what else is happening and see if I can find myself some new bits of clothing to wear. Good morning. 
morning everyone and happy Sunday fun day. I'm here at the Botanic Gardens which is inside the Tan running track. So if you've ever been to the Tan, if you go inside the gardens there you find the Royal Botanic Gardens. It's so beautiful here and it's actually really busy as well today. I feel like everyone's just in such a good mood because this has been closed for a while as well so it's good that it's open again. We can soak up you know the beautiful greenery especially if you're a city slicker like me there aren't too many green spaces in the Melbourne CBD but this is just such a hidden gem clearly not too hidden because there are quite a few people here there are so many families people walking their dogs it's just nice to feel that sense of community again and I think that with the restrictions easing tomorrow with you know cafes reopening restaurants reopening beauty services reopening everyone's just in a really good mood so positive vibes only what a great way to start a Sunday. Let's go and explore and just see what we can find. Sets my soul on fire and helps me unwind. Yeah. I'm just here now in a different section of the gardens and I got myself a lovely soy flat white from Jardin Tan which is a cafe on the outside of the gardens. It's really good if you are after a decent coffee. And we just stumbled across this like autumn paradise, all these beautiful autumn leaves around and there are kids like, you know, throwing the leaves up and down, having the time of their lives. It's quite cute. So yeah, we found another little area, which is one of the reasons I love the Botanic Gardens because there are so many different like subsections, all with different themes as well. Like you'll have some areas that have a lot of cacti and then this area is very like autumnal and some areas will have a lot of like different hedging and cutouts and it's yeah, it's really cool. There's something to see in every different corner of the gardens. So cheers to that. I'm going to finish my coffee because I really need it and then we'll see what else is happening around the gardens. But there are so many people like walking around. It's actually so busy. I think this is why the city is so quiet. This is where everyone has come to the gardens. Seriously. <laughs> right kind of woman on to help me feel fine. I think we're lost. <laughs> I wish that car could take, or that buggy could take me to my car because we have been walking around here for like an hour and honestly we keep taking like a different path. There's like all these forks in the road and we're just guessing, aren't we mum? Are you trying to get out of here? But look how many cute dogs there are. There are so many dogs. I'm obsessed guys. I really want a dog now. It's 7 p.m. on a Sunday night and I am ready for bed. Who even am I? I know I'm the ultimate grandma but seriously guys I am ready for bed. I'm going to have a shower, put my PJs on and get an early night of sleep because I do have work tomorrow and I want to feel really well rested and just recharged. But I am going to talk more about why I haven't been feeling so, you know, energetic lately, why I haven't had that real oomph like... You know, if you know what I mean, I used to feel so energetic and really just always ready to go, but I have had a few health problems, which is why I haven't felt my best self. I'm going to talk more about that in a new episode, a new series actually on my channel, all about my health and wellness journey. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to document the process of getting back on track with you guys. Don't stress. It's nothing too serious. Like I don't have any really serious illness or anything. It's just more of a lot of deficiencies that are contributing to me feeling you know, just not my best self. So it's nothing too serious, but at the same time, you know, when it does impact your day-to-day -day life, I do think that is serious. So, you know, these deficiencies all add up and they're the reason that I just haven't felt very energized. So I will be talking about that soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I'd love to have you on board. 
and I'll be seeing you in a brand new video very, very soon. Have an amazing week because you deserve it. And hopefully next time you see me, I will have my nails professionally done. My brows will be tinted and waxed and shaped. You know, things will have changed. I don't have my lash appointment until I think it's the second week of June because it was so hard to book in an appointment with my usual lash technician. But I'm sure I will survive one more week without eyelash extensions. That's the least of our worries at the moment. But anyway, have an amazing day. I'll speak to you soon. Good night. And carry on. She got the soul of a warrior. But a tender.